Donc bonjour et bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo. Donc je suis actuellement avec euh, Mika. Bonjour. Bonjour Mika, comment ça va <rire> How are you Oui, I'm good. <rire> great, great. So, uh, donc uh, si vous ne uh, comprenez pas l'anglais, eh activez les sous-titres. Hein. Vous devez cliquer sur le bouton pour activer les sous-titres dans YouTube pour pouvoir avoir la traduction en français. So Mika, um, I met you yesterday actually. Yes. And uh, you told me your story because you're, you're, you're a woman entrepreneur. Yeah. And I, I, th I, thought your I think your story is amazing, so it's why I wanted to share it with my audience, you know. Thank you. So Thank you. <laughs> can you, so you have now a company? Yes. All right. So um, what we do is we are in a multi-billion dollar industry called business intelligence. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we help really big companies to visualize their data. So I started out in the industry as a consultant. Uh -huh. And then I started my own company probably about four years in after kind of reaching the top of my field. Wow. Yeah. So uh, when did you start? Um, first company or this the third one? Which uh, one? Okay, the first one. Okay. <laughs> Let's begin by the beginning. Okay, so the first one is I went to college to be a computer engineer. Uh -huh. And like so many people who use the other side of their brain, not necessarily the technical side, mm -hmm. I realized something was missing. So I realized that I did not want to program for the rest of my life. So when they had, before they had the big dot com burst, you mm -hmm. remember that? Yeah. We had a little website online. We were making some money, you know, drop shipping some phones or whatever. That was cute. Started another business and fail. And I was 17 when we did that one. Started another business and fail. Dropped out of school. My parents made me go back to school. Yeah. And then I finally graduated and came out. Um, I had quite a bit of offers to do, in, you know, programming as an engineer. Didn't want to do it, so I just started my own company, which, by the way, was fixing computers. Like my first, like with, yeah. Yeah, it bit. was not wow. what I thought. That wasn't a company, that was a job. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I created a job with my first company, too. So, yeah. <laughs> right. oh, how old were you? Um, when, I, when I did the computer. The, the first company, yes. So, the first one, I was about 16. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, what made you start this company so early? I mean, it's not common. I created my first one at 19 and it's already That's very awesome. young, yeah? But 16 is... Um, I grew, so I'm from the Caribbean. I was born and raised in the Caribbean. And so I think, one, I had a very entrepreneurial set of people around me. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother, you know, always sold cakes and different stuff from home. But also, mm -hmm. I just always wanted to have control of my time. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. You, I, you wanted to have freedom. Well, first of all, I learned the hardware in engineering that my brain doesn't work from eight to five. Uh huh. Really? And that, that was a discovery. So I, I can't, I don't go from, I have spurts. Mm. So my brain goes from about 5 a.m. to 11 a.m., mm -hmm. stop. And then 5 a.m.? Yeah. Really? Yes. Do you wake up so early? Sometimes I wake up at 4 a.m. Ooh. Okay. Right. So I, I listen to the 5 a.m. Miracle podcast. It's a whole nother story. But I realized that I, I said I can't do this 8 to 5. My brain doesn't work this way. So I started to have to find ways. I said, this is not good. I'm going to fail at being in a job. So after realizing that is when I started searching, how do I overcome this? Because everybody wants a 9 to 5. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. How I do mean, you do it? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't, my brain doesn't work like that. So actually, that search kind of helped me to say this job thing. At 16 years old. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Impressive. Okay. I, and I didn't know. So I, I just, I don't know, always fascinated with entrepreneurship. I studied Bill Gates. I was always fascinated. I'm uh, like, wow. Did you, uh, uh, did you have the legal right to create a company at 16? There was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember online, mm -hmm. people didn't really know. Yeah. Right. How yeah. to pay taxes and how? So you could just pull up a URL, mm -hmm. throw on an e-commerce website, uh -huh. yes, yeah, and put it up. But so it was a service company at this time. No, it was selling things. Ah, okay. So like you know, a job ship. Okay. So you know, nobody was really checking. Ah, okay. So you didn't have a proper company actually, but it was a business. It was paying it, bills. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was paying bills. So, so did it work well? It did. It was a good experience. I dropped out of school, like I said. Yeah. I did. Um, it was going really well, and then my parents found out, and then it was time to go back to school. Wow. All right. But so did you close the business, or did you... Yeah, there's engineering. You cannot do engineering and anything else. You really? can't do engineering and boyfriend. You can't do engineering <laughs> and sex. You can't do engineering <laughs> and hang out. You can't do engineering and anything. Wow. Engineering is just engineering. It's like, okay, being a monk for a few years. It's a lot of work. So wow. and unless you want to flunk out, then they throw you out. 
All right. Yeah. Okay. So. So I knew there is oh. no way. Uh, how long did you study engineering? Uh, well, you know, students are supposed to come out Olivier for four years. Mm -hmm. Took me six and a half. <laughs> six and a half. Yes. Six and a half of no boyfriend, no sex, no nothing. It's, it's a journey. It's wow. a journey. It's a journey. I mean, you have to be really, it's so much work. It's just out of this world. You know, they tell you in engineering, when you hit a certain level, no job. Okay. Yeah. Don't, wow. they tell you, we have professors in engineering that will flunk you if yeah. you have a job. Wow. Because they say you cannot pass this class. Really? Yeah. So, okay. Why did it take you so long to six years and a half instead of four? Did you? Well, I years? dropped out. Yeah. Ah. I didn't want to go. Uh -huh. I and dragged through the classes. You. I failed physics. It's a long story. I failed math. I came back and made a 4.0. <laughs> it was quite a cycle because my brain was always saying, this is what happened, to be honest. And this is not to be mean to anybody. I respect everybody. I look at my professors and I said, I don't want to be like that. Mm. <laughs> really? Be honest. Okay. And I said, this is not to offend anybody who's a professor. It's, I have a lot to respect for the scholarly world. But I said to myself, I don't want to be like this. And this guy is teaching me how to get to the next stage. Mm. So I started to tell my mom, mom, I'm going, I, this is not it. I'm telling you, finish the school. It's very pricey school. I went to expensive. So it was a bit of a mental struggle because I said, how can I have someone teaching me that I don't want to be like? Mm. Right? Exactly, yeah. So you had this, you were not motivated at all, right? No. It, so, it, so it was a quite, sh and parents, I'm from the Caribbean, very traditional, right? Mm -hmm. So it's come out of school, <laughs> four years, a job, just showed up. <laughs> a fence, a husband, two dogs, and a kid. <laughs> the American dream. Right. And so it's, you know, explaining to them that you want to do something that is not a four year degree, it doesn't go well. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they don't. But you did it. You, did, you get. You got your diploma. I went back. I went back and I. I made it. Also, what did you do after your diploma? I got about six offers: uh, Microsoft, General Electric. Again, beginner programmers. So mm -hmm. they said, "Ah, you're a brilliant girl. Whatever." Blah, blah. Give you the programmer analyst role. This is the 101 role. It means you sit behind a computer. You do like this. Every day. Every day. All day long. And also, you're somebody's bitch. <laughs> what do Sorry you mean? To say, you're the bottom of the food chain. Yeah. You yeah, think. Sure, you get sure. all the bad code, all the hard tasks. You're there long hours. You're the new guy on the block. It mm -hmm. works like this in IT. So you, you had to, to have six years and a half of study for that? Yeah. But it was the beginning after you had to clean the, the ladder, right? Right. So I, I looked so at it. So it was totally the right way. I mean. I lasted six months. <laughs> and so what happened? I started building a website business in school and also the prepare. And then I, I, I got one contract for $10,000 and I, fit, I said, I'm done. So it, what, so it was a struggle in business? Yeah. So it was, it, I had, I was servicing small business. I could either build your website or fix a computer. Yeah. My job All right. basically. Yeah, yeah. So I did it. What I would do is I'd get up like 5 a.m. in the morning and I would work on my business from about 6 a.m. to about 8 a.m. Wow. I would work from 8 to 5, and from 6 to 10 p.m. I worked my company. Awesome. Yeah. So you went to work. Poor people um, to, to yeah, to repair the computer. They knew. They knew. Uh, Miko will work with us. I said, I have a full-time job, but I think I was pretty decent, you know? So they would be accommodating, say, okay, we work with you in the morning and the thing. And then I told my boss, I said, I have a side gig. I would not work it during the day, but these hours... It's my own. So I finally got the $10,000 contract. At that age, it's like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's it like, was your first customer? Well, yeah, it was. So first of all, I said, wow, zeros <laughs> in the left of the decimal. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> so I said, wow, a comma. Yeah. So it was very exciting. So I decided. I'm done with the job. So it's a, a really great insight because you started your company as a side yeah. project where, while you were still uh, studying yes. and then while you were still working. Yes. And it's great because you, you didn't have any risk no. involved at all. No. Did you uh, add to invest money in that? No, I, I did everything gorilla. I hard way. I saw you. You're a business owner. You're my friend. D I have these skills. Do you have a friend that need the help? All right. I went what on the, um, you know, the site before Craigslist, they post jobs. Yes. I replied to maybe thousand ads. 
Whoa, mm. really? Like the hard way? I reply. I, I see anything for looking for a computer geek, looking for some printer help, anything. And I reply and say, I can give a service for uh, $25 an hour. Uh, oh, I don't have 25 15 an hour. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I just wanted to get some work, you know, exactly, and yeah. also I was trying to pay my b pay, pay some extra bills off from okay. school. So I paid off all my basic bills. Okay, so it's interesting because obviously you work it really hard. Yeah, these are 100 hour weeks. You didn't have to invest money. No. You didn't have to stop everything you were doing. No. So if uh, worst case, you just will have continued to work in your job. Right? Yes. So it, it's interesting because a lot of people think entrepreneurs are, you know, uh, uh, aiming for risk. And it's true that you have to take some risks sometimes, but yes. smart entrepreneurs make calculated risk. Yes. And often, they make sure that even if they fail, it's okay. Yes. It's not the end of the world and they can continue and try again. Well, it depends, Olivier. And you know this, we talked about it. In our stages, we are single. No kids, no... You know, you can make yeah, a different sure. decision. Right. When you have a family, you have to be even more calculated. Because really, I could have just went there. I was just me. I, I I could have bonked on a friend's couch, to be quite frank, and said, oh, but I said, no, let me do this. Because I, I also wanted to maybe please my parents a little bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to, mom, I did get a job. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, all right. So, you you know, wanted to please your parents. Yeah, so, you know, it sounded better. Mom, you know, I come out of college, I have a job. Because every parent, what do they think? I, this degree, my kid graduate, what do they want to tell if I have, you know, my kid has a big job in... Uncle home, whatever. So it worked. But within six months, I got the $10,000 contract. I remember it like day. I said, this is it. And you quit? I was very diplomatic <laughs> about it. I'll just leave it that way. All I was right. very diplomatic about it. I did not do that. I didn't want to burn a I was very dip diplomatic about it. Okay. Yeah. Right. But if you have, even if you have a family and children and everything, it you can find the time, I mean, yes. to build your business. Uh, I, I watched a statistic uh, recently that French people are watching TV like two or three hours a day. Oh, Come I, on! I didn't have a TV Yeah, me for too. I don't have a TV. 10 years. And you have now? I have a niece. <laughs> She's the love of my life. Okay, okay. So me watching it is one thing. She comes by me. It's a different stage. But me and TV... Yeah. No need. Yeah, so for example, if you watch yeah. TV, um, even 30 minutes a day, come on. You yeah. just drop it for one year to work to your project. No, no. Here's what I recommend I told my friend start by only watching it on the weekend. Oh, ah, good. All yeah. right. Good and you know what? Back in our day, you didn't have Hulu recording and thing. So if yeah. you miss the show, you're looking for reruns. You we have, have no that. excuse. We, we don't have that in France, but uh, we, you can record a, a show. I record mean. a show. I mean, you now you can watch as you want versus I have to wait at 9 o'clock till it comes on. So and you have to see the advertising and everything. Come yeah. on. Come yeah. on. It's about TV. But you know what? When it's on the TV, eight hours on the phone. People, it's out of balance. Yeah. So it's not TV now. I'm on my phone checking the statistic every three minutes. You can drop Facebook and just use it during yeah. the weekend. Great tip. Time is money. A any bad habit you have during the week, just do it during the weekend. It's a great tip. Thank not you. only that, anything you do for 21 days becomes a habit. Yeah. Yeah. If you put your mind to it 21 days, it will become a habit. You won't need to think about it anymore. Awesome. That's to create a habit or to break a habit. Awesome. Great. Yeah. So what happened with this business? So we, I came out of there and then I became a subcontractor. Uh -huh. Still a job. Yes. <laughs> okay. right? right? But I thought it's good because now instead, I'll tell you some numbers, instead of getting 25 an hour, I was getting 37 an hour. 37 dollars. So I said, you know, at my young age, I said, hmm, this is a decent How old were you? I was 23, I think. 23. Mm -hmm, 23, 24. So I thought it's a decent amount for someone my age. I don't have much, a dirty old car and whatever. And so I was excited. A lot of work. You know, I said, wow, this is not what I thought. You know, like I'm working 40 hours a day at a customer. Everything I have to, if I don't work, I don't see the money. You don't have any employees at the time? No, no. This is subcontractor. So I don't know if you do this in uh, France, mm -hmm. where you work as in freelance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you represent the brand 
that you're working for. Yes. And you can't say, hey, um, I have a company and it. No, because no, Because you, you can steal the customers. Yeah. yeah, it was me. So it was me and it was hire me. And so that, w yeah, that young age, it was great. But then I said, you know, after a few years, I'm like, oh, a job. I created a job for myself again. <laughs> right yeah. but I love what I was doing so to expedite I got paid a little bit more mm -hmm. a lot more mm -hmm. at this point and I'm thinking but I'm working crazy hours really? and then I start to travel okay so it really becomes a life you know it no it, on steroids now I'm traveling I'm making a lot more money yeah but it's quite a lifestyle yeah there's no time and I started saying ah you know I want to have a company but I have no time mm -hmm. to do anything. Yeah. So God bless my older sister. She would always, she work a full-time job. She's always helping me at night. I have a blessed family. Oh, wow. My family, they come home from work. They help me at night. Awesome. For free. For a long time. Wow. Really? Long time. You're, yeah. you're very lucky. Yeah. It, they put in a lot of, they believe, you know, they didn't quite know where it was going, but okay, I'll be good, successful. So fast forward now um, from a subcontractor. I had to get some people working mm -hmm. where I could leap and no more for me consulting. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. And then that is where I said um, that was about f three or four years ago. And it's been a bumpy road because, you know, I can go consult and I can make a certain amount of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have to stick to it. You have to say, no, I'm bill. I'm working on my business, not in my business. I don't know if you could say that in French. Yeah, yeah, we can. There's a distinguishment. Exactly. On the business. And in, yeah. Not in, in the business. Exactly. A lot of people think I have company, but they're just in there. So if you don't understand what is the difference, uh, I, I, I explained that a lot already in my videos, but you, mm. you have to read the books that is called The Hemis that is explained very, very well how, how, what is the difference between working in and on. Your yes, company. very yeah. big difference because you can have employees, Olivia, you know, but still have a job. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And not the kind of job you like. So it, it's I'm still growing, but it really took me a while to understand. I need to delegate. Same thing for me. Yeah. yeah. I, perfectionist. I'm so accustomed to doing it myself. I need to share the time. You can do a good job too. You may not do it my way, but it may be a better way. Or oh, even if it's only 80% of what you do. It's good enough. Because, yeah, you, you don't have to do it yourself. Yeah. So it's great. Delegation is a blessing. And if you don't learn to delegate, you're dead. That's it. You, you might as well tell everybody, I'll be back when I'm 50. Because you never let go. <laughs> exactly. I learned a lot of things the hard way. I mean, the real entrepreneurial was, hard way. It's really interesting because we really have kind of the same story. Yes. And we, we, I, I, but I had a, a job for only one month and a half as an employee. <laughs> and then I did my self job for 10 years. Oh, wow. And then I created the company that I have now, which is a li really lifestyle business. But... Um, yeah, so how did you transition from your second tour company to, to the third? So, okay, so when I transit, I was a subcontractor, mm -hmm. remember? Mm -hmm. And then I decided that my people would start requesting more than I could do. Mm -hmm. So imagine I'm contracted to work here 40 hours, but you're calling me saying, Miko, can you come here? So naturally I'm saying, mm, I can't come. But Olivier, who's my buddy who I met, He's a freelancer. So, okay, if you want to pay, you know, $100 an hour, Olivier, I'll give you a six-month contract. I'll pay you 70 Ooh. That's how it started. Okay. So then I keep 30 you keep 70 and you are going through my company. Awesome. And you add another one, another one. And then finally, it's, okay, I need to come out now. I don't need to be doing it anymore. And I can expand. So, I ha again, I calculate. I grew organically. It wasn't just, blah. You yeah. know, let me go. No, I, I had to make sure there was some replacement. Not a full replacement. I did kind of leap off. The minute I saw that, you know, I said, oh, it's, it's not perfect, but let me jump. I jumped off. And so then it's saying, so still calculated, but I did just jump off at one point. This is it. It, it wasn't replacing all my income. Mm -hmm. It was just enough to live. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was the same for me. Yeah. So, yes. And in the, the book, the aim is just explain the problem like very precisely. Did you read it? No, I did. which book is this? The Hemis by Ma Michael Gerber. Yeah, yeah, the Emit. Um, you emit. said Hemit. Ah, emit. Oh, emit. I didn't understand. Of course, <laughs> I read the Emit. Yes, oh, right. yes. So you say Hemit, not Hemit. And it's funny. I read the Emit before making this jump. Really? Believe it or not. So it it, it helped you. I read that cash flow quadrant. I mean, I I you have to understand. I sat down and I said, okay, this is 
go go you know you need to i don't mean to curse but uh, shit to get off the wall you know mm -hmm. it was like get off the pot so i said let me try and learn and see who else is doing this i read emit i read cash flow quadrant i had um carnegie you know how to influence people i mean i went through a you know great it was my next question actually yeah to read books I, and of the, course and it's incredibly incredible we have the of same story of course actually. of course <laughs> but what do you do when you're jumping into nowhere and no one around you knows what's happening, yeah. you go to the bookstore. Exactly. For, <laughs> but for 20 bucks, you can have the master That's right. in, the, in, in your field. It's but, awesome. e but today, people, you guys have it better. You have all these blogs. When we were doing it, you go to the bookstore. There's mm -hmm. no Kindle, no... You had to go to the bookstore. And now we have Amazon too. Which That's is right. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Uh, with our day, so I went to the bookstore, I ordered a stack of books and I read. And I read a lot and I said, okay, okay. Okay, and I remember thinking, okay, I read Brian Tracy as well, you know, thinking like a millionaire. I read Think Big, you know, Donald Trump. So I just pumped my head up. I said, okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> so, and you did. And I did it. Yeah, but wow. it took a lot of, because it's a lot of confidence. I mean, people think, oh, I see Olivier, his guy is, they, they don't understand. You go through the same things like other people. You, 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 you guess things twice. You rethink it. You think... It's a journey. Yeah. With it, a lot of obstacles to overcome. Yeah, there's yeah. no there's no like paved road, you know, there's no you're figuring it out just like everybody else, but you choose to try to learn from yeah. other people. You can yeah, it's not a paved road, but you, you have people that went uh, through, through this way before and can guide you. Yes, that's it's right. It's like going into a jingle but with a guide. Which brings me to my next point. Mm -hmm. Mentors are very important. Yeah. The best thing that I did ever, you guys hear this, and I'm sure you speak about it somewhere in your blog, was to get good mentors. Oh, how did you do that? Um, I went to people that really believed in me. Mm -hmm. They were much older and much more experienced. Uh -huh. And I politely said to them, I, I, I'm honest, exactly as I said, mm -hmm. I know I'm young, I have a lot of potential, and I'd appreciate if you would give me just a few hours per quarter. And if you're too busy, it's okay. And if I have a big question do you mind answering it i will not take a lot of your time and i found three mentors and that changed my entire life awesome and yep. did they all said yes yes i i just told them i said no pressure i know i'm young you know at this point i don't have much to show but i said i know i have potential right I, and i said to one of my mentors said something to me which was very powerful he said let me tell you something if i had to the way you need to look at your life is if you had to bet your buck on one thing make sure it's you and if you feel you can do that then you're worth my time awesome awesome so yeah. how did you uh, i mean so you just call them some month no i knew them oh, you i knew took them. a lot of guts though so i took a lot of okay what do you tell them what do you do do i tell them all this stuff no let me be honest yeah i took a little approaches what do i say okay i knew them but i never had asked for this kind of commitment mm -hmm. it's a commitment you're telling somebody you have nothing to show but a dirty car old car at that don't ask about my stupid car you know you have nothing to show but you're saying to them i'm going to take over the world can you be a part of my story awesome great so so when did you create your third company um, the third one was with 2014, 2009. In nine, okay. Mm -hmm. So how um, uh, long after your, your second one? How many years? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to tell my age. Um, <laughs> you're so young. Come on, you're very young. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come I on, mean, you're not so old. Thank you. <laughs> um, so um, I <laughs> we're talking about um, probably about four or five years. I mean, I had my phases. Where in you get knocked down and you think, oh, mm -hmm. it's so, you know, it's, it's phase that you know this. Mm -hmm. There's the days when you go, why? <laughs> why? Yeah, you why? Know? Why? Why? You know? Why do I even Why bother? do I do that? That's right. You know, and you have to get over it and move. So I went through my stinches, but now I feel more than anything in my life because of all I've been through, right? I started at a very young age. I really feel like I'm on the right path. And it took a long time. I was good at a lot of things, but it doesn't mean I wanted to do it. Great. And I had to learn that the hard way. Because I was making money fixing computers, I don't like. <laughs> you didn't like it? It was just a way to make some money. And yeah. I was good at it. And you wanted to do something with more passion. You had the same thing. I mean, it's... Yeah, exactly. You I had the it, same but thing. But can yeah. you do this all your uh, life? It was, it was my passion at the, at the beginning. Because yeah. I was a geek. 
What? And, but after a while, fifty years? Was, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't. I mean, yeah. You, you go. You sit on and you go. Wow. And it, it's what is great with entrepreneurs. I mean, when we want something, we yes. make sure we try to create the environment and Around everything it. that will That's allow right. us to do what we want. Yes. It is, I think, the main difference between entrepreneurs and other people. Well, I, to your point, here's what my mentor taught me. Yeah. I was sitting down, and this is true, this is embarrassing, complaining. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, it's long hours, oh, the customers are paying, oh. He said to me, let me teach you something. The way the world works is there's two kind of people. Those who become a part of their environment mm -hmm. and those who create their environment. Exactly. There is a name for that, actually. It's locus of control. It means that uh, you create your own environment, the environment that will help you achieve your goals. I love it. Yeah, I didn't know that's what it's called, but I knew that the day I was told that is I started looking around and I made a list of everything around me. I mean everything. My old car, the way I dress, did I go to the gym, my friends, my bosses, and I looked at it and I had to cut some fat. Wow, even with friends, right? It's something that I already, I don't know, shared with, on my blog that you have, yeah, sometimes you have to get rid of negative people, yeah. people that will, you Dragging know, that, you that down. are, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And people have a really hard time about that, you know, it's like. Do you talk about EQ, emotional question on your blog? Have you talked, have uh, you addressed not that? Not yet. Okay. Are you familiar with the concept and the fact so that... So it's an emotional question, right? Yeah, so what, what happened, um, long story short, is a while back scientists found that people with, they compare people with high EQs, but they would compare to success and mm -hmm. realize that people with lower EQs were succeeding them in the real world. Wow. So they said there has to be something else. So then they discovered that there's an EQ, which is your emotional quotient. And that has to do with how you deal with people. And they realized that people with a lower EQ but a higher EQ became much more successful than those with higher IQs. So one of the things my mentor said to me was, because I remember telling him, I said, you know, I know I'm not stupid. Okay, I'm not the smartest, but I'm not stupid. But I just, with people, it's so difficult. He said, your EQ is out of balance. Wow. The EQ, I have the book 2.0 now. It was not 2.0 then. It has a six checkpoint list for you to go through and grade yourself. My grades are quite embarrassing, so I won't be sharing them. And I managed to raise quite a few of them. It took a little while. Wow. Yeah, I went to task on it. I said, I did the Benjamin Franklin. I don't know if you know Benjamin Franklin's story. I won't go over it. But I said, I look at where I had the problems. I was a little depressed. I mean, it was low. Like yeah. in the garbage. And so I decided, it, it then tell you how to work on each one. How to deal with people. How to communicate. How to breed how to pace, how to understand if you're receiving or not. So it's very, it, it's anybody who wants to take it to the next level, changing EQ also took my career, my financials to a whole other level. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So it's how you uh, learn to manage people. How, how you interact. So I could be sitting here with you and even though I'm sitting, I can completely shut you off. Agreed. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. You don't feel that way, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm very in. I feel like you, we're in tune. You're very open, actually. I can't. Yeah, with your body language and everything, right. you you communicate very. Yeah. Years ago, we do the interview, and I'm like this. It's not the same thing. I, I, right. I, I'm not sure you can see the difference on the camera, but I you can feel, feel it. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You you would be searching all over. They call it this area. You would be here trying to feel for something, right? It's all about that. So I recommend anybody in your audience that wants to elevate. They need to go test their EQ. There's a free test online. Uh, it's e Emotional Intelligence 2.0 has a free test. You can buy the book and it's a great place to start. I mean, it is self-help 101 and then it opens a lot of doors because what would happen is people started, res it helps you to learn how to get the responses that you want, mm. but not be about yourself. Learn to be about other people. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. And so you, okay, you learn all the thing while being like for six months in Boston numbers, yeah. self -elf, self -elf. I shut down. Yes. So it was before creating a third company, right? Yeah, I actually did that when I dropped out of college for a year and a half. And that's also I, I have the same story. I, but I, I did mm -hmm. it. I, I discovered the personal MBA. Do you know that? Yes. It's a list of the best business books mm -hmm. in the world, and I began to buy them and just read I them. I did the same thing. You did a pr yeah. I oh my god. Okay, I Incredible. did the exact same thing. I, I told you. I went in a self help section. I said. 
I need help. Exactly. <laughs> the first you thing to learn it, yeah. is you need help. Let me explain to you. Back to your TV. If you are alcoholic, stay out of a bar. If you like television, get rid of TV. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah. Don't come home and sit on the couch and go, I'm not going to turn it on. <laughs> I'm not going to turn it on. You know how it works. Mm. If you need to lose weight, don't buy the junk food. Exactly. It's you don't have to put it set in the up house. an environment where yeah. you don't have a temptation. Access. Don't buy it and go, it's there. I'm not going to get it. Just don't buy. Dump it. Dump it today. <laughs> you know? And it's that mentality of the people that... You, call, you, know the, you know the concept of the five percenters? Uh, no, what is that? Oh, you don't know. Mm -hmm. The five percenters are your A-list people. Of your what? A-type personalities. Okay. So five percenters are the, the, the percentage of people in the population that rise above. My goal is always to try to become a five percenter. Sure. So yeah. what are the common... <laughs> success. I mean, in all levels though, not just money. So one thing, and I, I'm sure you talk about this, success is not just money. Mm. Oh, absolutely. But Seriously. I mean, Mo money is great. We don't, uh, we don't want to hate it. We love it. We love it. We love <laughs> money or money love us. Right. Exactly. Right. right. But money is just a tool. It's just a way. That's right. To, it's just a way to, you know, achieve your, uh, your goals. Actually. That's right. And yeah. think about it. If you have a lot of money and you have bad habits, you can eat yourself to obesity and be unhappy. Mm -hmm. If you have a lot of money and you have bad habits, you can destroy other people's lives. So the person, that, that's the one thing that my mentor taught me. He said, I, I remember I wanted to reach a million dollars. And my mentor said something to me. He said, Miko, it's not making the million. It's the person you become getting there that's the true event. Yeah, that's great. And I, at that point, I had a dollar. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at him going, what? I just want a million dollars. You know, he said, that's not it though. You keep thinking that there's a pot of gold. It's the person that you become on your way to making that money is really what is the journey. Awesome. And that changed my life. I just, so I, again, mentors, you just can't, whether you find it in books, I did all the above, online, real people, you just, you can learn from everybody. The janitor, you can learn from the homeless person. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody has a walk of life. And that's sure. what the EQ teaches you, right? You, everybody you meet, exactly. respect. Yeah. Doesn't matter who you are. Awesome. Yeah. So, okay, you self educated yourself with books. Did a lot. And it, <laughs> it gave you the idea to create your third company? Yes. To get rid of your self job and to create a real business? Yes. It built a lot of momentum. I mean, I, I even went, let me be honest, I went and saw Donald Trump when he came to town. Every time I could see these guys, even if I had to pay some monies, I was in the back. I don't know anybody and I'm watching. I want to see. Even Jeff Walker. Yeah. How do you think I met him? I went to uh, Yannick Silver Underground. Uh huh. Mind you, I'm a computer engineer. I'm at a marketing conference I saw online. I don't know anybody. You understand? Yeah. No, not like I'm connected in that industry. No nobody. Yeah. And I walk in, I'm thinking, I'm not going to bother anybody, but if I just sit in a room and take some notes, I will learn something. I met Jeff Walker. Awesome. Yeah, yeah so it's how you started to get out. You know, the, the lesson is exactly. <laughs> out of your comfort zone. Because I said to myself, I looked around and said, in my field, nobody's trying. You know, I couldn't. So I said, I got to do something else. I need to get out. So that I said, I'm going to push myself into the marketing arena. And that was it. I went to that one conference and here I am now. Awesome. And I met you. Yeah, <laughs> we met. That's great. Yeah. All right. Uh, and so, okay, so you started your company in 2009. Yeah. And it went like... No, Olivier. Right. Come on. Tell me the story. You know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we all want this. And it more looks like... Uh, boop, 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 yeah, exactly. Boop, 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 boop. Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, we could lie, but... <laughs> but no, we don't. This is not a lying po uh, a video. Uh, no, it was... Let me get started. And then it was Murphy. Everything that could go wrong. <laughs> Everything. Like, yeah. I mean, Everything. I do the same thing for all my businesses. Actually. It just starts coming down. And it's like, you think you push a button. You're like, what am I, whatever the button is. <laughs> Let me tell you. The first year and a half. It was crazy. A lot of books, a lot of prayers. Reminding myself every day why I'm doing this. Every day. Why? Call my family. You believe in me, mm -hmm. yes. That's why you're working at night, yes. Okay. Great. 
great. Nothing's wrong. I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the next thing I have to admit. Accountability is important. I have my family was working so hard at night. I could not let them down. You know, it wow. it helps because I it's not just me. Interesting. And yeah. I'm too shamed to say to them I want to quit. Wow, and they said. Yeah, okay. I don't want to tell them this because ah, okay. my sister is coming home at night mm -hmm. with a child and is putting in two to awesome. three hours of work. Wow, it's really great. Yeah, you know, so I said to I look at my sister and I'm saying, I will not tell her this. You know, I cannot possibly tell her I just want to run. You know, so it's it's it, there's a lot of things you have to build that environment around you. Mm -hmm. You have to build the things that keep you going when there's no more glamour, mm -hmm. because it's not pretty all the time. What people see, it's not pretty all the time. It's not fly in the plane and pretty shoes and it's not. Right. So build the company year and a half very rough, and then finally through a lot of sweat equity, meaning. I, so that's a good example. I was making less than half of what I was making as a subcontractor. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So everybody and got... And you already told us it was not like big, big money. Already no, it was not. So it wasn't, you know, but I kept up. You know, you know, the good thing about online is you can use Grasshopper, Gut Vimeo, and GoToMeet, and you can look like a big company. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. Nobody has to know. Mm -hmm. You have call. you have... So we did... We well, what, was your what is your business about? I don't think it's... So we do business intelligence where we help big companies to like visualize the, their data. The video, we yeah. help executives to make decisions by helping them, empowering them. So we take their data and we bring it Because to life. Because they have huge amount of data, but it's like raw data. Yeah. And it's... Like It's garbage. It. Yeah. And so we are, we are the visual makers. We come in, we, we look at the data, we understand what you need as a decision maker, we create that story for you. And so instead of you coming in the morning and having to go through our Excel report for 50 minutes, we try to create something that says right away, here's your problem, and you know exactly what you need to do. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So it's very important. Um, but again, you have to think, by the way, I'm 20-something, I look like 16. <laughs> yes. So... That was a slight problem mm -hmm. because you people can't take you seriously. You know, they're watching you and you don't want to go around telling people, oh, I started college at 15. You know, you're not wearing a badge. But seriously, people, one company I went to, the guy asked me to go fetch the water. I was there for an executive presentation. He thought I was the help. Mm -hmm. He told me, can you go get the water? Oh my God. Wait, I said, sure. So I did it very gracefully. Then I dust off myself. I went in front of him. I said, are we ready? He almost like, You should see, he jumped. Really? Yeah, he said, we're looking for Miko, a boy. I said, mm -mm, It's this me. is it here. <laughs> yeah. So he looked and he said, I'm so sorry. I said, it's okay. People think I'm an intern. You know, so I, it's a lot of, it was, it's a lot of challenge. I had to learn a lot of things. And I always, because I'm in an industry where you have to have a lot of experience, I always had to do so much more. I tell you another thing my mentor told me. I said, I want to become an expert. I want you guys to hear this. He said, do you know what an expert is? I said, yes, I become the best at what I do in the world. He said, I have two things to tell you about expertise. First of all, the difference between an expert and a regular man is that he spent seven years of experience within a two-year span. Mm -hmm. The second thing about an expert, a true expert, is they can explain what they do in a simple sentence. Until you have those two be on your belt, you're not an expert. <laughs> wow. so I said to him, what do you mean seven years and two years? He said, the difference between an expert and everybody else is they simply spend much more time in a condensed period. That's why they become so good at what they do. Mm -hmm. And he said it takes passion. Nothing but passion will drive that kind of dedication. Awesome. Yeah. And your blog, that's a good example. Exactly. I mean, yeah, it's what I'm, I'm telling to people. So, so, so I, I, ideally, you want that uh, your, your, your company is the intersection of patients, skills, and uh, market. That would be know? correct. Right. And then you get the network, and you know, but as you said, that all is add ons, right? Because if you have the patients, you, have, you attract people. I don't want to get into a whole discussion, but I had to learn as well the EQ. It also talked about when you start changing what you put out there, you start attracting what you want. I just want to tell people, if you are living a life that you don't like, mm -hmm. the first place to start is in the mirror. Is what? In the mirror. Uh -huh. I just, I've never made this on camera. I used to stand up in the mirror and talk to myself. Okay. Have you done that? No. <laughs> I have. All right. And I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I stand in front of the mirror, have a long talk with myself. Really? You talked? Yeah. 
Yes, I, I never met this on camera, actually. This is very personal now. And I would say, okay, you don't like this. You don't like this. Let's take a hard look here because it starts here. Oh, I, I think I did. A few yeah, times. it yeah, starts here. Right. Yeah, People yeah. think my problem is Olivier. He's the problem, you know. <laughs> He's overweight and trying to drag me into the bars. And then it's my girlfriend because she likes this. Hello. One to you. My mentor told me four to me. One to you, four to me, mm -hmm. right? He said, you need to take a look in the mirror. Awesome. A lot comes out. <laughs> awesome. So I highly, if anybody wants to start anywhere, 10 minutes. Wait. It's a very powerful exercise. Because sometimes when you stop and you look, you may not like what you see, but you realize that's why you're attracting what you have around you. Mm. And when you change, also, I don't know if you went through this, you don't have to get rid of people. All right. They start to kind of fall off. How, did you have that experience? I, I, I don't have employees. No, no, just in, just environment. Your oh, friends, I mean, your... I, I, have, I have followers, fans, audiences. Right, audience, but in your personal that... network, my experience... Oh, yeah, I have friends that... Uh, I have a few friends that created a blog, and some of them had a lot. Right. I have a lot of success right now. That's wonderful. Yeah, 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 and exactly. then you probably had some that... Because you, you, you become a leader, basically. You... Uh, and that's right. you I mean, that's some, right. people will, some people will be pissed off, and that's okay. And so people yeah. will love you. That's right. And that's you great. can't please everybody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So that that was one benefit is I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get rid of certain people sometimes. And I realized as I changed, you know, as I as I started to work out more, I wake up as we just don't fit. Mm -hmm. Your schedule doesn't fit. I can't go to the bar every night. I it doesn't fit. So you don't, you know, organically we just separate. Mm. And, and you learn that. So it's not always you have to go and say, Olivier, I love you. You're my friend. But you know, I cannot do the nightclub every night. I cannot watch television with you and drink beer until... You just say, this is the agenda. Mm. And they, it falls off because either they want to spend time with you and they take an example or they say, ah, this guy, he's on some crazy shit. Yeah? yeah. I don't want to exactly. do anything. Yeah. You have to do it. Yeah, so that, it was a lot of learning. It was a lot of learning. And then also learn the hard way a lot. Awesome. Yeah. And so, your company, how many people do you employ? So, right now, between subcontractors and contractors, we have 30 plus. Awesome. And yeah. do, can you share your, your, your revenue growth? I won't. Okay, all right. <laughs> For reasons that I'm going through some discussions right okay. now that okay. are sensitive. Um, but I will say that we're still not where I want to be. But remember, I have a nine figure goal. Mm -hmm. um, I will figures. say that we're blessed to be where we are. It was a lot of hard work. I don't lie to anybody. I don't tell them I'm, there's a fairy tale behind it. I work very hard every day. I wish I could tell you I was just ah, internet lifestyle. I'm not going to lie, but I love what I do. It's, it's interesting because uh, we have almost the same story, but mm -hmm. I chose to go to the lifestyle business. I think that's and, awesome. And you chose to, to go to the like big, awesome, <laughs> ambitious business, right? Yeah. It's interesting. Well, my thing was, and I, I actually looked at lifestyle, but I think partially what it was, and I still actually right now, I told you I have a, food, a shoe thing. Whole another story. It, believe me, my goal is to build my company, to sell my company. In the future, don't be surprised if you see me join in. I mean, I, I love helping people. My business helps people. Absolutely. It helps people. If it, it didn't... I think, I mean, yeah. we are doing the, the dream job. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so... It, don't be surprised. In a couple of years, sell the company. Hello. I might join you. I mean, I love helping right. people. I love impacting people. I like seeing people rise up because I do global speaking. I love seeing people get to the next level. Awesome. I just love it because I felt that, you know, my mentor said it to me. He said, you know, a lot of seeds were planted with you. Mm -hmm. he, one of them said it to me, he said, I will plant a lot of seeds with you, but I expect you to plant even more. Awesome. Yeah. So Where I can end there. plant their own seed. Yeah. He said, you know, you, because he looked like at me. Circles like when you drop, you know, a rock into water. Yes. And you have circles that's. Yeah. But Olivier, so here's my mentor again, and I say this to your audience. Another thing that changed my entire perception about life. I had it all wrong. I said to my mentor, "How can I be successful? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so hard. How can I be?" He said, "No, it's not, Miko." I said, "Come on, because you have money, you want to." Do. He said, "It's not." He said, the quickest way for you to reach your goals is by helping other people accomplish theirs. Awesome. I love it. I mean, I, I'm so into it too, you know. That's, like, yeah. I, and when you first hear it, I was young, you don't, you think, 
Mm-hmm. How do you mean? I go to Olivia and say, what do you want to do? Let me just help you. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what, what, you, what you It's mean. a deeper meaning, right? Mm-hmm. He, if you help people genuinely to solve their problems with the talents that you have, you will always win. Awesome. You'll always win. And that's what I learned. And when I learned that, it tra- the money followed. Awesome. Yeah, that was a big turning point where we went from make doing well mm-hmm. to really, you know, you have leaps. Yeah. You have jumps and then you have leaps. So that was it. Anyways, I can end there. I know we're over time, but this was great. Uh, so, yeah. So thank you, Mika, for mm-hmm. sharing everything. Merci. Uh, uh, merci. So uh, before before finishing this video, I mean, <laughs> if people are still watching, I think they are really motivated. So can you share a tips for beginners that want to create a company? Sure. So the first thing is, I when I was a beginner, when you don't know what you like to do, mm-hmm. my first recommendation is to keep trying. Mm-hmm. I have to say this, and I and I say it because a lot of people give up before they ever reach because I just don't know what I'm good at. The first thing is expose yourself and keep trying. The second thing is that if you're in your comfort zone, get out now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right now. now. So go on meetup.com or whatever they have in France. Find a site with groups of interest and go to the event. Mm-hmm. It's that simple. Log into LinkedIn or if there's a French site, look for some group that have a... Get out. This is If you're coming every day and it's the same thing and you feel good, get out. That's the first thing. The other thing I would say is you really have to ask yourself, what is my purpose? Yeah. I had that moment. Why am I here? Mm-hmm. I'm very good at certain things. Mm-hmm. What is, why am I here? How can I truly help other people? Great. Yeah? And if you can answer that question or find some answer, it is the beginning of a journey. Awesome. And then the other thing is, there's no get rich quick scheme. Exactly. I've tried. <laughs> I bought the programs. And they don't, don't yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You have to be careful. Yeah. But you are also, I, I, have, I want to add some point because uh, some of my critics said, I uh, what I say uh, it's like get which quick uh, get which <laughs> get which quick scheme. So, Why? Uh, because uh, I don't know uh, actually. Uh, what I'm, I'm teaching is like how to get your company, how to use blocks to create or develop your your business. You know, we use blocks to develop yeah, our business. Exactly. So uh, I want to make a difference. Uh, sometimes some claims uh, are you, when you see them, you say no, it's impossible. Right. This, this, this is. People can't make that that much money. Right. It, it can't work. So sometimes you have to trust, all right? And often the programs have guarantees. So you can, so the, I, it's hard, but it, there is a fine line between, you know, being skeptic and being a, a, a absolutely a non-believer. And I, I think you have to be skeptic in a, a healthy way. And how to do that right. is to test. Uh, yeah, you are, you have to test. Because I if spend you a lot say, of money. No, it's a scam, and yeah, uh, you never learn. Work, yeah, you, you never, never learn. So at and at point, I mean, one of the biggest turning points in my uh, career as an entrepreneur was the first time I bought m- an online course. It was like you know, I That's was right. like on the sales page, and I said, oh, "Do I do this or not? Fuck, it is three hundred bucks." That's a lot. A lot of but, money. Ah, what mm, a, yeah, what it, I have to lose? It, it seems genuine. And there is a 30 days guarantee. And I, mm-hmm. I made, I made the, the, the leap, you know? Yep. And I am so glad I did it. Yes. I, you know? I'm the same way. I, I forgot what pr- I was buying. I mean, when you get desperate, you start buying anything. You're yeah. like, this guy said he made it. I'm going to buy. You know? You try to, like you said, $300. You go... Hmm. Let me read it in 30 days because then he has to give my money back, right? Yeah. If it's not good. So I did the exact... Olivia, I did the exact same thing. And I, I met some buffoons. Don't get it wrong. You buy some garbage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This guy's a yeah, lie. Sometimes, but it's a risk. You, you have to take. Right? Yeah, but you know what? My mentor again said to me, "You can't throw the baby in the crib." Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> really, really important. It's uh, some things that a lot of people have have hard time with. That's right. They they just get discouraged. And also, I have to be honest with you. One thing I want to say about those things that people say, you know, you make a hundred thousand dollars in five hours. Mm-hmm. Those are not necessarily lies. What they miss is that those people may have been entrepreneurs for 10 years. True, true. See, they, they miss something. Look at the guy who's saying that and let him tell you how many times he failed before he hit that. And now he hits it consistently. Yeah. That's where. So I don't ever think, oh, it's necessarily a lie. I think that people don't realize this guy's been doing his business for 15 years. Yeah. And now he's learned something. 
he's done it well and he wants to share it with so you. So it's a good sign if uh, in the sales video, for example, or in the blogs, I don't know, someone share his story and say, hey, I didn't succeed the first time, I had, you know, uh, had Problems, to yeah. overcome obstacles and it was not done this way. Uh, yes, but it's the, the people like that are guides that can help you, uh, you know, go through the obstacle yes, quickly. I it, agree. it will not, you know, it's not magical. It will not uh, uh, make the obstacle disappear. But it, it can help you go through the obstacle yeah, faster. Yeah, but you know how it works. When you buy the courses, let me tell you, even if you only apply 10%, it will change your life. I don't know about you. I've never been able to apply honestly over 20 to 30 percent mm -hmm. but it changed ev everything i got from my courses changed my life awesome. uh, is that your, have you ever been able to apply 80 percent tell me because i don't know the secret yeah I, I don't know how you do 80 percent but i know that what i do pick up from it has all been fundamental to get to me where i am awesome you know what i mean so yeah i, yeah, I like to buy it and have the magic trick I like to apply 100%. It's just not the way it works. Awesome. But you have to keep trying. You can't just look at it and say, oh, you know, live here, this guy, he has a special little, da, 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 and life dished him out a bowl <laughs> of spoons. And it doesn't work like that. You've earned your credits too. Yeah. There's no freebies, man. Awesome. So, well, thank you a lot. Merci. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> well, if you're still watching, it means you're really motivated. So, uh, a tip I want to give you is at least take one action you want to, to, to do, like uh, today or tomorrow. Please. Like very, very quickly. Please. And please do it, all right? So, it will help you to uh, uh, grow and uh, advance towards your objective. Your Can goals. I make one recommendation? Sure, sure. I forgot one tip. Just waking up an hour to 30 minutes earlier mm -hmm. to work on yourself mm -hmm. something as simple as that change will completely change your life awesome well thank you a lot again thank you thank you to have to still watch the video and see you soon bye bye